everyone, I am Alpaca and today I'm going to be showing you how to create this TNT player trap. Now I cannot take much credit for this as the idea was inspired by Mumble Jumble. His channel and video will be in the description as well as annotated on the screen right now. Now essentially this is just a comb an, an, an amalgamation of two of his designs, however I have taken it to the extreme. So this can do a lot of damage. Um, so let's get on and build it. Okay, so here's how you build the trap. Now this is pretty much exactly like Mumbo's um, third trap on his video. So if you've seen it already, you can skip ahead. Since you place a block down like that, you then place redstone torches on all four sides, not the top though. You then want to place a dispenser on top of all the torches. Now. I have been pretty useless at this, so if you want you can go and place blocks like that and then right click and then destroy the blocks. Okay, that's essentially that part and then you place redstone dust in the middle and that's you got your continuous clock. Now you want to place a block up like that and redstone there. Now that freezes the clock for the moment being. Now that's his trap. Now my version of this trap, what you need to do is you also need to place I'm there no that's not what you do you place well you need a piston so let me get a piston just gonna put blocks out like that take out that one put a piston in take that one out now on top of the piston you need to put um, you need redstone there you go redstone ore place that on top of the piston then here, what you need to do is you need to place a redstone block there, take out that one completely, um, put iron there, redstone there, and you need a lever, so that is actually quite annoying. So you then put a lever there, turn it on, I'm going to put my gold block back there, put the torch back on because the piston makes it pop off, I'll destroy that and that you got that part of it done as you see now this will activate when a block update is done essentially when you touch that redstone walk over it try and destroy it this person will push that block away and that will activate the clock now this is pretty much just his version but slightly different my version you put dispensers like this on all sides um, yes I think Ah yes, sorry, you put a dispenser there as well, there and there, and then you place redstone blocks in front of the dispensers, or if you want to, if you're doing this in survival and you can't afford the redstone, then you can just place torches like that, but for this tutorial I'm just going to use redstone blocks as showed in the diagram, not diagram, the, as shown in the first thing I showed you in the video. Okay, now that's pretty much it done. All you need to do now is fill these dispensers with a metric ton of TNT in each. So let's get the TNT. Literally just fill your inventory with TNT and put it in. Okay, so let's get to work putting it in. You're gonna need this is this takes a lot more resources than Mumbo's design I admit however the explosion will be bigger ah I almost had enough TNT oh what oh no okay I've rebuilt the TNT trap now I'm not quite sure why that one over there blew up but it's all rebuilt now fixed for the TNT and now I can show you it Essentially, this could be in someone's base you could have carpet on top of it like one of their uh, mumble straps or essentially you could just touch it by walking on it there we go <laughs> and then that starts spawning copious masses of TNT doesn't look like much damage but it does go a fair bit down This is what will happen when you activate this TNT trap. 
Oh, it's gone off by itself. What the hell? I didn't even get close to it. 